Let's see if we are live. Look at that. It looks like we are live already. How cool is that? I'm actually learning the new program, so <laughs> that's really good. So today we are going to be working on Audrey Hepburn. So I began a little bit and we're going to just be going over the ink mixtures, which are really exciting, the sepia mixtures, and they are available. So that's really exciting. So in the description field, you'll see the website. Uh, you can just click on the URL and these are available, which is really amazing. So uh, let's see who we have here tonight. We have Mike, how you doing? And Willie, how's it going? We have Blue and Wendy and Patty. And let's see who else. Um, we have John Diekman. How you doing, sir? Wendy, how you feeling? Patrick, Fever Montreal. Good to see you. We got Paul. How are you, sir? And let's see. Nigel, how you doing? Cheers, mate. Good to see you. And we have the nameless subscriber, Omas. Viva Germany, Jesus, how you doing? And so everyone looks like total pain. John Payne, good to see you. Uh, so that is exciting. So how's everyone? You guys can hear me correctly, I hope, I hope. So what we're going to do is I'm going to clean my airbrush because as you know, I'm working all the time. And so I was working in black and white earlier and I'll show you how easy it is to clean the airbrush out with the in, with the airbrush India inks and then we're going to put in our sepia mixtures and that would be fantastic so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my water so this is good it's a way to show you all how easy it is to actually, let's see here, there we go, show you how easy it is for me to clean my airbrush. Let's see, so as soon as I find my water dropper, what a surprise, I can't find something in my studio. That never happens. <laughs> So I have my Extreme Patriot Arrow, as you see, dun, dun, dun. and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the excess ink that's in there. And then I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to wipe in there. I don't even need anything like Windex or anything like that. So that's really cool, you know? Let's see. So look at that. We got 16 people in here. That's not bad. I'll take it. 16. That's not bad for the day before New Year's Eve. But New Year's Eve is just another day for Tim. I don't get all involved in all that stuff. I think it's a fake holiday, you know? Every day should be our New Year's resolutions. Every day should be trying to fix what we did or didn't do today or yesterday. We can only work on what we have today so we shouldn't wait till new year's now if if that's good and you want to wait till new year's that's good i'll support you and everything like that but just make sure that we don't get hung up on that right that's the thing so are we getting any kind of feedback issues or anything like that anything any kind of sound issues or anything let's see so I take my needle out and then I just wipe it and make sure you wipe away from the point, not towards the point, because getting stuck is no fun. And then I just take the rag here and I just clean inside there like so. Now here comes the important part. Well, important? Um, yeah, I guess it is important if I have any in here of course not so I am going to just move right over here get some q-tips q-tips and I am going to go ahead and just clean out now you want to get q-tips that are kind of on the cheap side right you don't want them all fuzzy because a fuzzy 
little fibers will get stuck in your airbrush and everyone knows that's not fun and I keep doing it until pretty much I don't get anything out of it then I just go ahead and put some more water now notice I'm using water only right that's important water water or water and only water so let's see what we have so Paul how you doing what's new my friend Let's see what else we have. Yeah, time does go fast there, Nameless, that's for sure. Raul, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, Mike's on PTO until next year. Then two weeks, go for two weeks school. Okay, what kind of school, may I ask? So you always want to clean your cap, too, because caps... You know, the caps have uh, little bits of uh, paint in there, ink. So you want to make sure that's clean. So now, I'm all set. I'm happy. I'm going to take my needle and we're going to put that back in the airbrush. We're going to put a little more water in it with the needle to make sure that, you know, the needle is set correctly, right? Look, I'm a thumb airbrusher. Yes, Blue, Miss Hepburn, definitely. Oh, factory training for service techs, very cool. Hey, what's up, Brad, how you doing? Yeah, that would be bad, Brad, definitely. <laughs> Good to see you, Brad. Yes, he just illustrated the points of uh, how important it is. So we are going to take this guy, which is the... Uh, sepia mixture right the light sepia mixture so when you purchase it you get light medium and dark which is amazing so you can go from the beginning just like my India ink mixtures same thing so we're gonna put some in here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out first make sure that things are working well before we go ahead and begin. So remember the cap has to go on there. Just like everything's the same. Here we have a nice light. There we go. Nice light application here. Very, very light. And Let's see, just be one second. Got to make sure. Now with these mixtures, you have to make sure that they're well mixed, you know what I mean? Uh, well shaken, I should say, because they do separate a little bit. But the main difference with these is that you don't have to mix right out of the, you know, once you shake them right out of the bottle, they are they're red go, which is really fantastic. Okay, and I'm just looking for my cap. Where is my cap? There we go. Okay. There we go. Nice, nice mixture. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring up the picture of Audrey so you all can see. Let's see. Um, we'll just come over here. Okay, so Audrey, so we're going to add a picture, and let's see, we're going to add an image, and we're going to look for Audrey, where is she, there she is, okay, perfect, so now I'll just, we'll come over here, and we'll just move her right over here so we can see her. Just like so, you can see what I'm working from. And then I am in my pure ref, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna look for Audrey. And let's see if I can find her. 
I'll probably do it this way. So there's two ways. You can find a file or you can just drag the file in there. Either or works. So I'm just going to go to pictures and I'm going to look for Audrey. And I'm just going to drag her into Pure Ref. If you haven't worked in Pure Ref before, I highly, highly recommend it. It's really quite amazing. So definitely something you definitely want to take advantage of. Okay. And all right. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get my glasses on and we're going to get down to business. Let's see. Okay, so, and as you can see, I can just, just like when we work in the India ink mixtures, the same exact principle is in effect. And so what we're doing right now is just building up texture while we're just making things just a little bit darker. So the light mixture gives you an incredible amount. Hey, Colette, how you doing? Good to see you. The light mixture gives you an incredible amount of detail and incredible amount of control. So that's what you want to use in the beginning. Of course, because you're working from light to dark, but also is that you're able to have this like incredible amount of control. It really is crazy how much control you can actually get. So you see, I can actually work in the direction of, of her skin, right? You want to follow the, you always want to follow the grain of the skin, which is very, very important. And we can just work very, very slowly, very deliberately. And so let's say if we blow it up, you can just see exactly what I mean. Let's see. Let's see if I can focus this a little better. Okay. So look at the amount of detail you're getting with the sepia right out of the bottle. You just have to shake these. Unlike my inks, which you never really have to shake, but these you have to shake. But I can load my air pressure really low. I'm at like 25 PSI. And I'm even lowering a little bit with the pack valve. And what that's doing is giving me an immense amount of control. I mean immense amount of control. And... Oh yeah, she does remind me of Barbara Eden, definitely. Wow, Audrey Hepburn was in the Belgian resistance in a sec. That's a really great bit of info there, Nigel. Thanks for that. I love World War II trivia, right? It's uh, really very interesting. Uh, oh, the image files. I will make that a bit available for you guys on my website, so no worries. And also, I'll put it on the um, I'll put it on my Facebook as well for you all. Definitely. Good idea, Mike. And and again, you have like immense amount of control. So what I'm going to do as well is I am going to take my other airbrush and we'll clean that out. And I'll show you how when we work in the media mixture how we can go from uh, dark to medium really fast. And that will be very helpful. So let's do that together. So how was everybody's Christmas? Everybody's Christmas was really, hey, what's up there, Mr. Colin? Thank you so much. Yeah, this was, uh, Colin's an old friend from Canada, does some incredible artwork. So it's good to see you, my friend. And yeah, I've been working on these, uh, these sepia mixtures for a long time. And they are available on inkflingers.com. Let me go ahead and see if I could, while I'm cleaning out my airbrush, if I could go ahead and put in, put in the website here. Let's see if we can do that. That would be cool. Let's see. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to add a website and... 
and I'll show you exactly where you can order these, which is really cool. Let's see. So we'll just add, and I'm just going to add the website. It's been a long time, hasn't it, that I was developing these, but I think the wait is definitely worth it. Let's see. So we want to add a web a website. Okay, so I think I did it. So yes, yeah, so as you can see here, here's the uh, actual um, the website that you can purchase these. This is the, uh, so you go on inkflingers.com and you go to products and also you can go straight to it if you wanted to, let's say, uh, if you wanted to just go straight to the actual page, it's right there in the description field. And I accept PayPal and credit cards and everything and I will get this to you right away because I know it's something that you would definitely want to try out really quickly. So uh, I'm going to be extremely generous. So it's going to be two light, two medium and two dark mixtures. And this way uh, you'll be able to do many, many paintings with this, which is really fantastic and I think it's going to be something that you all enjoy right well thank you so much I appreciate that Colin and uh, so that's really cool and uh, Nameless says he was watching World War II documentary last night where the Allies really unprepared when they stormed the beaches at Normandy true yes it was very rough very very rough but so this is the web page, which is, uh, you know, inkflingers.com. Painted Glyphs is no more, so don't order on Painted Glyphs. That website is being taken down, the old one, and this is where you would order. And also on this, you could also look into the mentorship program. You have that ability. Uh, you can look at the other products that I sell. Uh, such as the paper, the airbrush India inks, merchandise. Uh, and you know just anything you need to work in this oh blue thank you so much I appreciate that blue I thank you thank you thank you that is so cool and thank you so much for your support and and uh, it's really really uh, re I'm really touched by it so thank you blue for the super sticker blue is such a great friend to the channel and that makes me so excited and so David, how you doing? Good to see you, David. All right, so glad you're here, Mr. Stink. Amazing photographer, he just kicks butt. And that is just amazing how well he is doing with that. So, so let's see here, I'm gonna go back to, um, we'll come out of there and we'll come back to where is the, media layer usb forgery ink flingers so here we are at scene one and i'm just going to get rid of that and 